Hi, I'm Robert Finder. Um, I'm presenting a track of mine from an album I've been working on over 2008. Um, the album is my latest project, it's called Unit 13. Um, it's myself and my flatmate. Um, basically in early 2008 we decided that we were going to do an album. I'd worked with him a lot in the past. Um, he's a DJ and electronic music producer. And I've done some work with him in the past, music, additional production, that sort of thing. Yeah, so in 2008 we decided we we're going to work on an album and one of the track, the track I'm showing you today is one of the tracks from it. It's called Keep Running. Um, it's off our album which is titled The Sex, The Death, The Disco. Um, the, we sort of set ourselves some parameters early on uh, in songwriting. We wanted to make a electronic dance music album but have it not sounding like your typical dance music. Um, Ivan, the other half of the outfit, is very much into all the dance music, that sort of thing, and I'm sort of coming from the rock and industrial kind of side of things, so we thought, all right, we'll do an album, each song is at 128 BPM, which is kind of your typical house music tempo, and kind of dirty it up a bit and have some fun with it and not make it sound like a Ministry of Sound uh, compilation album. So this track that I'm presenting you today, yeah, it's called Keep Running. It's one of the longer songs off the album. It's very dancey, but it sort of features guitars and that sort of thing. So I'll play a bit of it for you so you can have a listen. And then I'll talk about how we did it and what we did. Yeah, so basically with this track we've used quite a lot of different instruments. Um, you know, we've sort of been operating in the typical dance music sphere, but kind of with added extras. Um, you know, there's the typical kick snare drum combination. Um, we both use Native Instruments plugins quite a lot. Um, so the drum kit was kind of built out of Native Instruments battery. And with my guitars and bass guitar, we were using guitar rig. Um, you know, there's the yeah, typical heavy sort of bass line of industrial and rock music, but still with the um, the sort of progression and the, the tempo of dance music. So with that, we sort of combined, you know, quite melodic guitars, which you don't often hear in, in dance music. And, you know, since we used um, Vanguard and a couple of other ones, so it was a matter of bringing those very different genres together and trying to make something that sounded good. Yeah, so with making this track, we kind of made some conscious decisions to follow the typical routine of dance music in terms of what sounds you're hearing and, you know, uh, the progression of the music, that sort of thing. It, we're very much operating in the pop music sphere in that there's, you know, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. Um, and within that, we use sounds that, you know, are both a nod to dance music and, and rock music. So, you know, you've got the heavy, heavy kick drum in it, you know, so that people can dance to it and the typical kick snare pattern um, and also synthesizers, which are a huge part. And, you know, so we had to give each of those a particular, a particular place in the frequency spectrum of the track so you didn't have, you know, instruments sort of clashing all over the place because um, particularly in this track, there's quite a lot of instruments going on. So... You know, you've got the very toppy percussion and effects loop sitting above the mix. Um, you know, then guitars and synthesizers kind of very tight in the mix. They have their own particular place. And, you know, followed by the, the bass guitar, which is heavily compressed, and the kick drum. Um, whereas the vocals kind of sit on top of that and needed quite a bit of treatment. Um, so they had the right, right place in the mix. Um, for example, I cut off some of the top end on it just because of my own sibilance when I sing, or I'll call it singing. With this track, I, I wanted to put guitars into it, so, you know, it's not something that you hear very often is guitars, at least real guitars in dance music, and it was a matter of, you know, putting them in the mix and giving them a good sound, so, um, you know, in the first part of the track, the 
the little guitar ostinato is repeated and it's the one over and over again and through the chorus is there a couple of different guitar parts and it was giving those a particular sound um, that kind of sat in the mix and gave it that epic sound that we wanted. So, so we used guitar rig and lots of reverb and a bit of delay. Um, pretty much everything in this track is delayed quite a lot um, because I wanted to get that really thick sort of sound in it, um, particularly the vocals throughout the choruses and especially the last chorus where the, um, the vocal delay almost becomes like a call and response between the same voice. So we recorded the album here at the Conservatorium. We tracked the vocals using a Rode NT2 and an O2R desk and we mixed in this very room on the Control 24. And once we had done mixing it, we had it mastered at Benchmark Mastering by Reese Turnbridge, who's um, mastered the likes of Silverchair and the presets. So, you know, we've been compared a lot to the presets. So to have someone who's worked with them it is a good thing. Like I, I, I'm not the biggest presets fan, but to have someone who understands the sound that we're working on um, is a good thing. Um, yeah. So basically, we recorded the, the vocals over a couple of days. I took quite a long time doing them, and then. You know, it was a matter of getting the mix, the vocals in with the mix and, you know, getting all that happening, getting the mix done and getting it mastered. And yeah, so I think this, this track is a good example of the, the kind of music that is on our album. Um, it sort of combines the, the dance music with the rock music. Um, unfortunately, Ivan isn't on, like his vocals aren't on this track because he does make a number of appearances through the album with his vocals. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's largely successful in what we're trying to do in that, you know, have the typical 128 BPM dance track and combine it with, you know, what are typical instruments in rock and industrial music, but not necessarily what you hear in dance music. So we're trying to hybrid things a little bit. And yeah, it's good. <laughs>